Oof. And that's a very good, very good defensive rally from Targo. Bouch and Lyra very anxious to finish that rally early on there and was really forcing a lot and Tago really stuck with him and in the end forced the mistake. Oh, but of course the movement of Bouch and Lyra to play that final shot, he put all his body weight on that left leg. Addressing the shuttle early, coming from over the top of the shuttle at the front of the court. And playing the delightful little block. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Two points away from the place in the final. Stick. Again, very anxious to finish the point early. 19 all. Yeah, it was a good call by the line judge. Opportunity. Going for the cross court net shot to finish off the rally and making a mess of it. And now the era has given match point to Bouchon Rai. Oh, he's missed it. And I have real, real concerns about his knee. I thought as he landed then, it looked as if perhaps his knee gave way slightly. Yeah, he didn't look comfortable in that movement, did he? 20 points all. Extra points required. Going to have a clear two-point winning margin. Very, very good anticipation and very brave play from the young player there. So having saved a match point, now Kenichi Targo has a game point himself to extend this to a third and deciding game. And again, Bouch and Lai delaying the, delaying the next point, taking the last of the strapping off his knee. Seems to have two layers of strapping on that. Yeah, he's obviously struggling. So game point to Targo. It's landed in. Would you believe that? Japanese coaches on their feet. Kenichi Targo of Japan finds the back line and takes this second game having saved a match point. And the youngster, well, he's not finished yet. Absolutely brilliant. What mental toughness for such a youngster. It's one game all in this semi-final. Chinese type team doctor in attendance.
吧。来来来，来一个。然后你的正手啊，你正手这边。你 strapping。好，我往中间走。哎，我靠，好高。Indicating that perhaps the problem was a little bit higher. 加油，小鹿！好，你正手这边，不要往他，往他，往正边走一点。好，没有没有机会，耐心。Well, the Chinese team doctor working hard in that interval there, applying new strapping to the left knee of Bao Chun Lai. But that in was quite remarkable by Targo. He too has got strapping on his lunge leg now. Obviously, the in badminton, whatever. Side, you hold your racket. If you're right-hander, it's your right leg and right knee that takes the battering. Left-hander, it's a left knee. To save a match point, the youngster coming through that didn't look phased by it at all. No, he seemed to be enjoying it, which is a great sign for his uh, his career. He seemed to thrive under the pressure situation there, which is obviously a good sign for his long-term development. But a lot of the coaching in the break seemed to be centred around the net. Whether he can get control, get early on the net, and not let Bouchon lie. More importantly, not let Bouchon lie, get early on the net. Retrieving. Oh, but that's magnificent. What an angle from Belton now. That's great control. One, two. Well, I'm quite surprised that the umpire is allowing this timeout yet again. Of course, the court. Court is being mopped of the perspiration from the dive, but it does mean that Boucher and Lai can have quite a rest period in between rallies. Incredible. Put top spin on that. It certainly looks as though both coaches. We're, we're telling their players they've got to get on top of the net because we're getting a real little battle of wills around the net now. Nobody willing to give the first lift away. Anticipation from Belgium now, showing all of his experience there. Two, three. Yeah. Belgium now winning his first major tournament at the age of 18. Danish Open back in 2001, and then it took him five years before he won his second title. It's the Korean Open in 2006. Decision. That's found the line. Brilliant. Good play. Just holding the shuttle in the forecourt, playing flat to the rear court, not giving Bouchon like tight to organise to use his big attack. Flash, it's gone along of the back line. Five, two, 